When they called me, the kitchen actually faced the other way. It was brown. It was a bit of a builder's basic kitchen. Everything felt dark and they just weren't taking advantage of the gorgeous view. They knew when they moved in that it was definitely something that they'd need to do. So when I came in, I decided that a banquette would be a lovely way to sit up, have a cup of coffee, read the newspaper and take advantage of the lake. And then also with the island, it would be a nice way to look outside. We sort of both took inspiration from the colors of the water and I was sort of against doing a white kitchen. I wanted to do something a little bit different than that. So we chose a light gray, almost icy blue color. And then I like to add elements like the antique mirror and the brush gold hardware. And then with the hood, it was that almost more rustic steel look. So we picked that up in the hood and then also the sconces as well. We used a different surface for the island than we did for the perimeter of the kitchen. I don't typically like granite, but this is a leathered granite. So it's a process where a machine sort of rubs into the granite and it comes out with this beautiful, almost textured touch to it. And it just really adds a lot of character. You can see the movement in it really easily. It's quite beautiful. And then we decided to use a sile stone for the perimeter, which is quite durable. It's easy to clean. We carried it up the backsplash, the veining matches. It's always a risk when you're lining up the sconce holes and where the hood should go. You really only get one chance when you're cutting <laughs> the backsplash. So that was a little bit nerve wracking, but we ended up nailing it and uh, it turned out quite beautifully. The client really wanted to be able to house most of their appliances away, which I'm usually a big proponent of. So we hid the toaster and the espresso machine in the pantry. They've got all their Nespresso capsules neatly hidden away, but easily pulled out when they need to use it. Obviously, every client always wants the maximum amount of storage that we can provide them. So we gave them obviously the storage on the front of the island, but we also gave them some storage behind the island as well. It's a little harder to access, but it is there. Stuff that's maybe seasonal or for entertaining, that kind of thing. We also added the ceiling. Um, that was a bit of a challenge to get the client on board with I wanted another way to bring texture and character into the home, so I knew the addition of the beadboard would really do that. The challenge was when you're dealing with beadboard sheets, the sheets are about four by eight, so we had to run the plywood to hide the seams. And then obviously we had to plan the right amount of pot lights. So she was definitely glad she went with it, but we had to do some convincing. Anytime you can add, you know, texture or some sort of visual interest to the ceiling, I think it just really brings the whole room together. If I'm doing a painted kitchen, I always like to bring in another element, whether it's glass or the antique mirrors or a style that I like. It's really a nice way, again, to add the character, just a bit of lightness and airiness to the space. And what's nice about the antique mirror is that it's got sort of this foggy, cloudy texture to it. So it's not an in-your-face mirror, you know, it hides a bit more of the sins, I guess you could say. <laughs> this is their second home in the city, and obviously the lakefront really drew their attention to the property, but they knew when they moved in that the kitchen really needed the most amount of work. They are a busy family, they've got four boys, so they really needed something that was suitable for their entire family. People can sit up at the island and do their homework, and then the banquette allows the entire family to sit for casual meals. 